Hey guys. Um, I've been having this thought and I wanted to share it with you. I, uh, I like, I studied physics a lot. I studied it in high school and then I just, I've always read about it and watched movies about it and listened to like seminar about it. And I am, I'm fascinated with like quantum physics is, I think quantum physics is, I'm a little nervous right now for some reason because this is a big thing that I was thinking. This is huge. Well, no, it's not. It's all just a concept. But I've, I, I've been thinking about this thing called, anyway, I know physics. And uh, quantum physics is more about theory than about the numbers. I mean, the numbers are, you know, the, you write it down. That's what makes it physics and not philosophy, I suppose. But it's the same kind of thing. And I think that there's something going on called critical thought mass. And I don't know if it's been, if anyone's ever talked about it. It's just, it's just a thought that I had in, in a response I was making to a friend of mine, Jamie. Jamie, thank you for inspiring me with that message. Hold on, I'm going to go to Wikipedia and uh, look it up. But what I think critical thought mass is, okay, I think that our thoughts have weight. I, truly. I, I believe that... Uh, hold on. It's, it's, so, and I think thought mass is something. I think thought mass is... No. Thought mass... No. Well, anyway, okay, so this is a new concept, perhaps, new words to describe the same concept, but I think that our thoughts have, have weight, and uh, I, I know that some, we don't know what gravity is, really. We have a theory about it, and then we, we know that we think that some of it's lost to other dimensions, and of the, of the 11 dimensions that exist within string theory, we only perceive three and then kind of four with time. But there's so there's all these other dimensions that we don't perceive, and gravity is thought to be lost to one of those dimensions. Now, I believe that our thoughts are in control of that gravity, or at least a portion of that gravity. I think that when we look at someone, there's actual there's actual pull, and people will look at us like people are drawn to eye contact. People are aware when they're being looked at. It's real. And I think that it's a gravitational pull of some sort. So I, I think of that as thought mass. And I think that we, at any time, everyone around us is mirroring what we're doing. Exactly. And that never, that never changes. Like if we're holding in, they're holding in. And that's thought mass. Now, what I think is happening is something called critical thought mass. I think that it's happening now because of internet video. For me, it's happening because I'm realizing there are thousands of people mirroring back at me what I'm saying, what I'm feeling in a given moment. And that is a powerful force. Literally a gravitational force. So this now we use this technology and we understand what's happening and we don't uh, get crazy. We don't go crazy because it's we're just mirroring each other. We, we can't go crazy because we're just mirroring each other. People will always keep me in check. Whenever I start to talk about something really intense or painful, people will will let me know. So thank you. And that was, that's my initial thoughts on, on thought mass. I went up and talked to Ryan and David about it. Ryan lives here now, by the way. That's uh, David and Dominic's brother. So it's the four of us now. Massey's here. She's cool. She's a... Uh, I was going to say David's girl, but like the labels are like, you know, they hang out. Uh, she posted a video. I put it on my page. Check it out. Also, uh, 
Uh, the last thing I want to talk about, if you if you're still watching, which if you are, thank you. If you're not, because you think this kid's a fucking idiot, this idiot stoner. Well, if you are thinking that, I just want to let you know that sometimes I do think that about myself. You're not, it's not like I don't have insecurity. But in these videos, it's easier to not be insecure because no one's standing right next to me looking at me. And that's the power of the medium. I'm not Jesus. I'm just, I'm really am just a person that's opening up. And we're all, with this technology, like there's just this change. So that's, maybe that's the critical thought mass, we're all doing it together. Anyway, the, the last thing I wanna talk about is this Obama video that I just did. I can't express how important it is to me, this video. I wanna get it featured, I want it featured bad. I'm, I'm th that video that William Sled put up with Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama talking about like wanting to get our thoughts, wanting to see what people thought. Um, Hillary was like, let's ha have a dialogue. Barack, I don't think Obama actually said, let's have a dialogue, but he will. I mean, I, I can't imagine that he won't. I'm sure he, he has been. I want him to have a dialogue with me now, at least in a moment. Because I think I can really, I can really communicate well with this medium. I, I just, you know, in my daily life, I still hold back sometimes at work. It's hard when there's money. Okay, anyway, the Obama video, I, I, I want, I hopefully, if, you, if anything you can do to help to get it featured, I would appreciate it. Because I think it's gonna be a big deal to uh, have that on the front page of YouTube response to our political figures. Like that will inspire all, a lot, like a bunch of people. It'll inspire a lot of people to hate me or to be angry because I don't know why. But I don't know why, because they, it's, it's no reason to speculate. It's just because it's a new thing. People will be angry, but it will be inspirational. People will begin to communicate. It will be a, a push from the population to communicate. We're not waiting for them to, I mean, they said that they will. We're not waiting around for it. We have to, make a move and really make this happen because it's not the, the small government that runs everything. They, they control the money, but we are really, the people are the, the country. And Obama understands this. We all run the country. Every person runs their own aspect of the country. And it's important to be on the same page. So, thank you.